Brandon here with Ghouls, Guts, and Gore, and I am pretty excited today because I've got some Lego minifigures to open. This is actually the new Monster series. It's their series 14. They've been doing this for a while, but it's the first time they actually have had a monster-focused series of minifigures. They've had some other horror-themed characters or monster-themed characters in their other sets, like there's a vampire and a werewolf and some other ones, but not an entire series dedicated to monsters. So uh, when I saw these, was pretty excited. They've got some really cool creative figures and, and ones that are just pretty funny. Like they've got one that's a Bigfoot parody that's called Square Foot with the Lego square feet. But um, finding these was actually a pretty big challenge. I saw them before September uh, and knew I wanted to pick some up. I knew they were coming out at the beginning of September and I actually kind of stumbled on them. I was actually out for Star Wars Force Friday for the Target Midnight release on Thursday and I was about middle of the pack, so it wasn't towards the front of the line. It was a madhouse. There was a ton of Star Wars fans at my Target, but um, there was a Target employee kind of filtering people into the Star Wars area so that it didn't get too bogged down, and I was next in line to go, and a Target employee walks by with a box of these Lego Monsters minifigures, and I completely lose track of Star Wars because I'm been looking for these and I'm like oh hey you know I was looking for those too can I actually get some so he opened up a box brand new for me I guess he was getting ready to stock it and I just kind of grabbed a handful and went my way into the Star Wars area but since then I've been to that same target 48 hours later completely sold out I've been to two other targets and they've had none so apparently these things are flying off the shelves so I feel pretty fortunate just to have five of them but let's see what I've actually got here so uh, we'll do this uh, kind of as an unboxing video or an unbagging video, if you will. And uh, can't wait to see if I've got five different ones. Hopefully, didn't get any doubles. So, here goes the first one. Pretty excited. So, the first one looks to be... I think this is the gargoyle which is really cool. That was actually one of the ones I really liked. Uh, I really like the Frankenstein one. I'm hoping to have him. And probably the one I want the most is actually the fly. So what's fun about this is you kind of get to be a kid again and put some really simple Legos together. So those sit back there. Put on his head. Put on his gargoyle headpiece, and so he's not just a torso, put on the legs. And that's actually really cool that they give you a little base. I've never bought Lego minifigures before. I was kind of just really interested in these being the Monster Series, but there we go. There is our Lego minifigure number one. Didn't even need the directions, so <laughs> that's a good sign. But they show you all 16 in the series. Again, just some really cool characters. Really crossing my fingers on getting the fly figure because I love that movie and he just looks really cool. And then on the back you've got some instructions. All right, on to the next one. Let's see what is in this guy here. Suspense is killing me. And not a duplicate, so that's a good sign. Let's see what we've got here. This looks like the zombie businessman. So right off the bat, kind of a funny little touch here is the zombie times brains. So with this guy, he's also got a little briefcase that we'll put in his hand. And let's get him all built. Pretty happy we didn't start off just with back-to-back -back gargoyles. I'm curious for anybody who's bought Lego minifigures before, if there's ones that are more common and then ones that are rare where you probably have to buy like 30 packages of these things to find. Or I'm sure it gets to a point where it might just be more lucrative to check on eBay or something if you really want to complete the collection. Here is figure number two. And he is the zombie businessman. He's all ready to go. All right, number three. Now, I do know that Lego has Haunted House, 
which it would actually be pretty cool to get all 16 of these and then just kind of have them set up around the haunted house. All right, let's see if our streak continues here. Yes, yes, we're doing good. This is awesome because this is one of the ones I really wanted. This is the Frankenstein, um, but he's also like a rocker dude. So he comes with a guitar and he actually has a lock, kind of a lock necklace around his neck. The back, I didn't even know about this detail. Shock and roll, really cool. All right, let's put him together. This is pretty funny here. So we've got bald Frankenstein and then they actually made it so that his forehead is kind of raised. So he just has a giant Frankenstein-like head. So the official name is Monster Rocker. So he is ready to shred, ready to play some shock and roll right there. And the three in the books, two to go. Let's see what we've got in number four. Oh, our duplicate. We got our first double. Looks like we've got two zombie businessmen. But you know what? Zombies come in bunches. So who's ever heard of there being just one zombie when the zombie apocalypse happens? So, so number four. All right. The last one. Obviously, I didn't know what was in these in advance. How amazing would it be if this was the fly? Since I've been talking about how bad I want that one since the beginning. But we'll just have to see what happens. Moment of truth. Either way, I'm gonna have to buy more of these because these are really awesome. We've got the Spectre. Looks like we only got, out of five packages, only one duplicate. I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, this is gonna be this one right here, kind of our, our ghost-like phantom dude. So this one, I've kind of learned from my gargoyle one, he's got uh, a dress piece that goes on first. So this is pretty cool because instead of feet like the other ones, he's got a little phantom base that he stands on. So his lower half is all ghosted out. It's really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> How does he hold the chain? Oh, they fit over his, his wrists. All right, there it is. So the chain has to actually, basically his fist is like that and the chain has to just snap into place over it. There we go. Got it, got it. Hooray. So that one's really creative because you've got the ghost base, you've got the chain, you've got the uh, cape and the hood. I like that one a lot. So there he is, there we go. There's all five. We got four that are different from each other. So I've got eight to go. I wonder how many of these I'm gonna have to buy. <laughs> to get all of these. But um, there you have it. There's our look at at least five of the monster series of Lego minifigures. These are awesome and uh, hopefully you can find them in stores. It's been a little bit of a struggle, but I'm gonna be on the hunt for them. Thanks for watching, Ghouls, Guts, and Gore. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Keep an eye out for more videos from us, thanks.